A configuration variable input is used to change parameters based on a predetermined range. Configured parameters from parts, assemblies, patterns, and mates are configurable with a configuration variable input. This linear rail is available with different options such as width, length, and number of slides. Each of the corresponding parts have configurations for each of the design parameters and are used at the assembly level. To create a configuration variable input, activate the tab of the assembly to be configured. Then open the configuration flyout. Expand the configure assembly button and select configuration variable. If configurations were already present, expand add configuration input at the bottom of the configuration flyout and select configuration variable. A dialog displays where a name is given to the input and parameters are set. Five different types of variables are available. Length, angle, integer, real, and text. Length uses a distance unit with angle using a degree unit. Integer is a unitless whole number with real using a number with an optional fractional part. Text is a special field reserved for text inputs in custom features. Selecting the overflow menu presents options to copy, rename, or delete the table along with changing the variable order in the configuration selector. To edit values of the configuration variable, expand the overflow menu and select Edit Definition. Adding parameters to individual tables and configuring assembly properties will be covered in the Configuring an Assembly lesson. After creating a configuration variable, the configuration selector displays in the top left corner of the browser. For this assembly, four inputs are present. Length, width, number of slides, and slide spacing. Each input contains the default value from the corresponding configuration variable table within the configuration flyout. To create a specific configuration, input a value into the corresponding variable. As values are input, the assembly updates accordingly. If a value entered is outside the allowable range, the dialog box displays red. Hovering over the dialog box while red displays the range allowed. Change the input to a value within the range to update the assembly and clear the error.